All right, welcome back into the 2015 NARCH Finals. Jeremy Ellis here from the NARCH Media Center. Special guest with me now, Bo Bennett of the NHL Pittsburgh Penguins. And Bo, you grew up around the game of roller hockey being a Southern California guy. Tell us a little bit how you got started playing hockey and your roller hockey roots. Yeah, well, Wayne Gretzky came to the area in like 88 or 89, and um, my brother kind of was a cool thing to play hockey, so a lot of us started in roller. My brother just went down to the local park. They, they played on asphalt back then with just the little bumper boards, and I'd always put the skates on, uh, just put around the rink, and as soon as I could get into a league and was old enough, I played roller hockey all the way up until I was 14, 15, and uh, that was kind of how I got the love for the sport. So you mentioned Wayne Gretzky coming out here. Was there a sport that was kind of your number one before hockey came along? Um, I was I started roller hockey when I was three years old, so that was kind of I, I liked soccer, I liked baseball, but I mean roller hockey was. My parents had a little rink in the backyard that I would go out before before school, after school, and um, I just loved it, and I, I still love to do it, and it's, uh, it's fun to come out to the and see, see all the kids. So you talk about starting off in roller hockey. At that point. Do you have the dreams of getting to where you are right now in the NHL, or is it just something that, hey, it's fun to go play with the buddies and wheel around and uh, shoot the puck a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah, for me, I I mean, I didn't really have a plan B. It was, I was hockey or, or bust. I would have figured it out, but I just wanted to put all, all my eggs in one basket. Um, but the same token, I, was, I focused on school really hard, and I never wanted that to get in the way of, way of my goals. So um, once I went to the University of Denver, Everything kind of came together at the same time. That's when I started taking it a little more serious. Um, but at the same time, I, once it becomes not fun, I, I'll stop playing. And I, a lot of guys say that in the NHL, and uh, everyone still enjoys coming to the rink and being around the guys. So roller hockey, Narch here, one of the preeminent names in roller hockey, and you had a lot of success playing throughout this tournament. When did you start playing Narch, and how many uh, Narch finals did you attend as a kid growing up? I want to say my first one was in Toronto. Uh, back when I was eight, we were we started on a team called Tidal Waves that was about my local buddies, and uh, we're still good friends today. And a lot of my roommates are uh, from the Tidal Waves. And, um, played throughout, switched to Bulldogs. Uh, Ken Murchison was our coach, and I only won one NARC final. That was that was back in Toronto when we were when we were 12 or 13. And, uh, that was that was a pretty special moment. I still remember the. The entire scenario when we scored in overtime to win it, and we were playing against the Toronto team, and it was, it was awesome. So you talk about uh, the big high moments. Is there one moment maybe on the flip side that you still think back about in your uh, Narch career, the one that got away maybe, or anything that kind of uh, leaves a bad taste in your mouth? Well, this the one that's fresh in my mind is the one we just lost in overtime. Uh, that was a bummer, but I mean, it's all fun. Like that's Roller is such a different... Uh, such a different feel like away from the rink. It's, you're hanging out with your buddies, you're getting to the game two minutes before it starts, and um, the camaraderie that comes with that is it's unmatched. And, I mean, ice is great, uh, I love it a lot, um, but it's always good to get away from it and play some rolling in the summer. Now the crossover between ice and, and roller hockey, do you use roller hockey during the off season to get you trained and in shape for uh, ice hockey? Uh, I've been, unfortunately, the last two summers I've been uh, actually injured so I haven't done any cross training or anything, no golf, n nothing of that sort. So this is my first summer getting back into it. I think my last game was five years ago and uh, getting back into it was it, it was tough. You know the skating's a lot different but um, it's important to play as many sports as you can. I, I see these young kids they're only playing ice, ice, ice and uh, you want to kind of be well rounded and uh, it helps everything translate to hockey, to ice hockey, since you don't always have to play the one sport. Now, uh, in the NHL, real famous uh, video clip went around during the playoffs where uh, Patrick Kane talking to Pat Maroon, who uh, yeah. played quite a bit of roller hockey, telling him to get back to his roller hockey championships. What's kind of the feeling of the NHL guys when they think of roller hockey? Do they think it's kind of a, a hokey thing, or do they really appreciate the uh, skill that's involved in it? I think they appreciate it. A lot of them haven't played it. It's uh especially the Canadian guys, it's not, a, it's not a huge thing in Canada, but I, I'm pretty sure Patrick Kane used to play roller hockey, so. I think so too, yeah. out in Buffalo, right? Yeah, so, um, but it's, I mean, Pat Maroon is one of the big names, you always right. hear his name, and um, they'll all tell you, it's it's really fun to just get out here, uh, not having to worry about getting your head taken off with the puck, and it's fun. It's, it's more of a battle than what I used to, what I, what I remember. 
So now you talk about going back to Toronto where you were uh, with Narch as a little kid, now out here as an adult and professional ice hockey player. What do you think about the atmosphere that's here in Southern California for this 2015 Finals? It's awesome. I mean, just to see the support and uh, see all the little kids that are out here and playing and um, watch the Narch Pro Final. A lot of guys that I grew up playing with still playing and uh, it's fun, you know. I, last year I just came and watched, so that's like... I enjoy watching roller hockey, I enjoy playing it, it's, it's a, I would suggest that every kid starts playing roller hockey first and then makes the transition to ice. Okay. Um, it really helped me along the way, helped round out my my hands, my vision, and then worry about the physicality and um, ice portion of it later. Good advice. Let me show you one picture here. We kind of dug back into the uh, archives just a bit. Show you a picture. Tell me what kind of comes to mind on that one there. Oh, man. Well, I was playing with two of these guys today. I remember the game vividly. They scored with nine seconds left. All they won the faceoff. All they had to do was control the puck. They went for an empty netter. Our big guy, who was six foot at the time, gloved it down, shot it, got a tip of the net, scored, and then we scored within one minute in overtime. So I heard that their coach was actually out on the floor getting ready to celebrate. When oh, you guys it was. Scored. I mean, even their fans, the fans all came down, were ready to get out, and then the USA chance got got going and. Ken Murchison was coaching so many teams at the time. Right. All his teams were backing us, and it was fun. That was, uh, I remember that one pretty well. All right, so hey, we want to thank Bo for joining us. Thanks for coming out to Narch. Really appreciate it. Good luck coming up in the uh, season uh, in the NHL, wherever you end up and wherever that uh, path takes it. Really awesome. appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, All right, Jeremy Ellis here at the Narch Media Center. Here's, he's Bo Bennett, and we really appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us here at the 2015 Narch Finals.